Legacy of Wisdom is a non-profit project building a vision for best practices for living and fulfilling life's potential. While focusing on the last half of life, it remains applicable to all generations. How to find that sense of mission or sense of life's fulfillment so that we have a certain freedom towards the end that we're okay to go. Well, there's a... Uh, from the time... I'll talk about uh, my grandparents, my dad, from the time you're born, a person is born. We don't think about death. We don't. From the time you're born to the end, there is a lot there in between that we have to think about. And we don't think about ourselves. So what, what people say, uh, like my, my grandparents are, are my aunts, uncles, mother, father, they never say when I die. We never say that. Because only the spirit knows He's the one that, I say the Spirit is God. He's the only one that put us on, on this earth for a purpose. And that purpose is to day one on to uh, teenage, middle age, and the, the older age. And then if you're lucky, you reach to a hundred. So... What you want to know is being prepared to die. We don't look at things like that. So uh, as we work with a lot of people here, a lot of other people clearly look at that. Do you have any suggestions for them how to live that last part you just ignore? I, I, I don't think, I, don't think I, I would uh, suggest anybody get ready for death. I can't say that. Because we are, like I said, we are, there, there's a reason why we're here. So why look at death right away? Why buy insurance and, and be covered if you work for that insurance? I don't. I worked. I worked a lot of years, and I don't. These people do keep writing me letters for, to get into this insurance. You know, why, why save up all that money for your debt? You're, you're not going to know anything, so why save up for that? that? That money that you're saving up, you know, if you have children, grandkids, pass it on to them. Okay, in terms of this quality of, of feeling, I've fulfilled my life's potential, that's more what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. How would we focus on that? Because a, a lot of the society tends to throw us out as we age, push us aside. Well, you know, the, the Lakota people, we're not like that. We don't do that. We don't think of like things like that. But it's the white men that, that will take the age, put them someplace, they die over there, they send them back. We don't think that way. I don't think that way. So if, uh, I think it's foolish, foolish to, to think about death. It's important. It's very important. When somebody dies young, you know, we always say, oh, he should have, he or she should have took care of themselves. Or if a baby is sick, you take it, take the baby to the hospital or have somebody come and doctor the baby, make sure that that baby lives. And they some grow up. I seen one. They, they took this baby to the hospital. The doctor gave up on him. In fact, I seen two of them. But this, this boy, 
he grew up and he's got children and grandkids. You see what happens? So, so as, as we age, we should stay focused on life. You bet. Life. You bet. Mm -hmm. the, uh, what he's telling me is about, I just got through telling you about the old people. And like me, I'm 86 years old. And so uh, all the things that my grandmother told me, and my grandmother was really old when she passed away. So what she passed on to me is what I have to pass on to my grandkids. I have great, great grandkids now. So what I know, I pass it on to them and I keep telling him all the time because he's an elder now, so, but he don't have children but he can go and pass it on to the, to his nephews and uh, nieces. Like I told you, nowadays they take these old people into the nursing homes. Well, these these old people they know a lot of, a lot of things that in the past, but you see they're they're in that place where they can't pass it on, and then they die there. So, me, I don't want to go to know her nursing home. Huh? I think I done past that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello.